they'll take it for what it is, you know. Uh, a message from God. Hey man, thanks bro. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot bro. God bless you. Bro. Oh, do you want to ask me a question then? Jay, what, what lead what led you to believe that the um, the Bible is the word of God and what convinced you so much of Christianity to be the truth of who of what God is and what everything's about in the world? Well, uh, there's so many lines of evidences. First of all, the historical evidence of Jesus, that he lived, he existed, the Bible, the Gospels are based on eyewitnesses. Can I have a look at your leaflet? Yeah, yeah, the free, mate, the free. Um, eyewitness accounts in the Gospels, Gospel of John is eyewitness, so we know that Christ died and rose again through the eyewitnesses, but we have historical evidence like Josephus, etc. Then philosophical evidence, without the Bible you can't know anything. How do you know that your brain's not being manipulated by an alien? Uh, on the edge of the universe, unless there is a God who's made your brain, you wouldn't know. So, without the Bible you couldn't know anything. And then the scientific evidence. Scientific evidence, there's three billion bits of information in your DNA, times that by a billion, that's how much information is. What a sight of the uh, religion they gave you. What do you think? Well, Apple Palace. Just down that way. Down that way? Yeah, it's just round the corner, mate. What street is it? Oh, yeah. What have you got there? Apple Palace, yeah. It's only two minutes away. Yeah, we're born again Christians, bro. We're born again Christians. Oh, right, oh, right. Yeah. Did you go to a particular church? Uh, I go to a church over in Levisham, right? And Mike goes to a church over in Disbury, yeah. What's your favourite version of the Bible? King James. King James, bro. Is that authorised King James or just the King James? Right. Authorised King James, yeah. Alright. Well, what do you think of these other religions? You know, uh, Catholicism, Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormons, what do you think? Well, what we think, bro, is the main thing is, is Paul says in Philippians chapter 1, he says, for me to live is Christ, to die is gain. So the main thing is that we focus on Christ and they've departed from the simplicity of the gospel, which is Jesus who died for our sin, and rose again, and if we believe in him, he says, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord, you shall be saved. That's in Romans 10. So that's... Yeah, yeah. So that's what, what we're preaching. We're preaching the gospel, bro. Not religion and not a cult, but a simple gospel of, yeah. of who Jesus is. Probably gospel means good news about it. Amen. Amen, bro, yeah. That's it. Amen. You guys ever been to the old lab? No, we'd like to go. I think we'd all like to go, bro. That's how you Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even, uh, even. No, we haven't. I've been to Greece. Uh, I've been to Greece. never got as far as uh, Israel. Or yeah. Or yeah. I went to St. Paul's Bay, uh, which is on the the yeah, yeah, I've heard of it, yeah, but... Uh, near Lindos, Lindos is where Paul the Apostle came in, there's a church there, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. The passage from Galatians is actually in the church, just outside. There's a passage wow. from Galatians outside the church in Greece. Yeah, yeah, so we're, we're just preaching about Jesus, bro, and about trusting him as Lord and Saviour, and having faith in him. That's right. And, and repentance and faith towards Jesus Christ. Because there's an old hymn, Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Take my moments and my days and let them flow in ceaseless prayers. So let's trust in Jesus. That's right. Put our faith in him. He'll never let us down, bro. Going to, going to places at night, uh, uh, Jesus wants you to get a taxi, not to walk in this. Uh, well, that's mighty nice. Assalamu alaikum, are you okay? God bless you. That's very kind. What are these? This? It's nice to meet you, ladies, yeah? So. No, would you like to buy one? How much are they? A pound. A pound, yeah. Well. Thank you, very much. Okay, there we are. I don't eat it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. oh, go for that one. Thank you. Okay. You Good work. <laughs> hey, bro, I remember you. How are you doing? Oh, I knew it. You all right? Yes, just
Muslim, yeah. Yeah, you're Muslim, Muslim, yeah. Love it, love it to meet you. Halal, a pound. Huh? A pound for these sweet ones. Uh, we're, we're, we're doing preaching about Jesus. Yeah, no, you believe I, in I, Jesus? Took a, I took a leaflet that you gave me last time. I was oh, on the did you read it? Yeah, I did. What did you oh, think yeah. of it? Interesting. Interesting. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. God bless you, bro. Nice to talk to you. Nice to talk to you, ladies. Church is not a building. So there it is. Saved that one which was lost in the Garden of Eden. Sin came into the world and he came to the repair and restore. That's the message of hope to be done. Ladies, you know, you know your faith. How do you get forgiven in Islam? You know, if you sin, how do you get forgiven? You have to repent, repent. In prayer, you have to. In charity, and in just Ask how do you? Yeah, and, and from your understanding, do you understand who Jesus is from a Christian point of view? Do you know? Do you know what we believe? Do you, do you know that we believe Jesus is God in the flesh? Yeah. And that Jesus died on a cross for our sin. Have you heard of that? Yeah. And what do you think of that? Like, if you died tonight, do you know your sins are forgiven? Can you say that your sins are forgiven? If you were to die tonight and you met God, can you say your sins are forgiven? It depends on you as a person. It's not like everyone is forgiven. It's if you repent and it's personal to you, is what I'm saying. But what we believe is when Christ was on the cross, He took your punishment for you. So if you believe in Him, he says, if you confess and believe in him, you're forgiven. Because it's like having a t-shirt. Imagine you hugged your husband, you got married to a husband, and you got oil on your t-shirt, and you hugged your husband with an oily t-shirt, you put that dirty oil on your husband. We have a dirty heart, and we come before God, it's like a dirty, oily heart. But now you take your oily t-shirt off, and you put a white t-shirt on, now you hug your husband, you're not going to get him dirty. When you believe in Jesus, he's your what? Your righteousness, your white t-shirt. And when you go to God, he doesn't look at your sin. He looks at Jesus' righteousness and you're forgiven in, in Jesus. You're so nice, ladies. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. I know it's a big thing to shake hands with Islam. Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry. We respect that. Sorry. Yeah. God bless you. God bless you.